Yeah, we got to talk about Twitter and Elon Musk. You know, I forgot to hook my um, I forgot to hook my soundboard back up. So we're gonna have to do this. Uh, we're gonna have to do this. You know, a little. We're gonna have to do this raw. Okay, I'll make the sound effects. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh no! Elon Musk is doing a Twitter poll as to whether they should reinstate former President Trump. Oh no! Six hundred thousand people voted. Now, how do I want to vote? Should I vote no? Hold on, wait. We have to think about this, everybody. My imps, let us not be let us not be hasty. If you vote yes, then we ha then we get it's like here's the reason why, okay? The reason why I think it would be funny to vote yes is uh because Donald Trump already said that he wouldn't come back to Twitter. And I think he's actually likely to keep that the case because he prefers Truth Social, which he owns. So he might not actually come back to Twitter or he might come back and just redirect people to Truth Social which would be hilarious. It would make Elon Musk look so cucked. But on the other hand, that's basically the same bargain that Hillary and the Democrats made where they were like, nah, Donald Trump, he won't actually run for president. We need to, like, he'll be easy to beat. So what if he does actually come back to Twitter? And what if he's the reason that Twitter, like, survives or limps onwards like all the trump heads jump on board and give elon musk money because he pleased daddy Ooh, ooh. but wait let's be real elon musk is not going to give a shit about democracy you think this motherfucker gives a shit about democracy hmm hmm this is a tough one this is a tough one. Elon Musk told everyone to vote Republican on the midterms. Yeah, and they fucking got, they got fucking slapped. They got their booty clapped. Hmm. This is a tough one. I didn't think it was, Trump was too good of a poster. I'm sorry, it's true. No, you're right. You're like 100% correct though. Trump was so funny on Twitter. It was it was part of the reason why it was so bad. And maybe that's part of the reason why we shouldn't have him back. Because like, even though it was hilarious, it was also severely damaging. But I don't really care that much because we're about to talk about my future on social media right before we do the Twitter, uh, the, the whole story of Twitter, okay? All right, here's the real way, okay? Here's the real way we do it. Here you go. Here's your opportunity. Democracy, nested democracy. We're doing recursive democracy. Oh, oh, the knowers are winning. The yesers are, the yesers are losing. The yesers, you're losing in the, in the, you're a bunch of losers. The yesers are a bunch of losers. Who would have seen this? They're losing so magnificently. Sad. Just sad. Okay, everybody. Well, the votes are in. The knowers won. And in the spirit of Elon Musk's new Twitter, I will be ignoring the, the results of democracy and will be voting yes, reinstate Donald Trump. <laughs> You're fucked. Get out. Woo. All right. Ah, do you see how stupid that was? What a waste of time it was. You had no say. You felt like you had a say. You got to push a button that released serotonin into your mind, but you had no say at all. Not, and neither do I, because this poll doesn't mean anything. By the way, just so, just so we're in the clear here, 
Your vote doesn't matter. It's 62 to 38 percent. Donald Trump is obviously going to be allowed back on. And guess what? He was going to be allowed on anyway, because if it was no, Elon Musk would have just deleted the poll and then reinstated Donald Trump. Elon Musk has been wanting to reinstate Donald Trump for so long, it's not even funny. Okay, everybody, though, that was funny. But you want to know what's even funnier? Me. I'm funnier. And the reason why I'm so funny is because I'm a based demon bitch. And the long and short of it is, I want this channel to grow. I want to grow the power of hell. I want you to have more imps to hang out with. I want me to be able to make a nicer, more comfortable living from this show that I make for you all. Thank you all for those of you who donate and for those of you who like and support the stream. And uh, this is the very awkward segue into the part where I talk about the future my future, Demon Mama, the show's future on social media. So in just a little bit, um, geez, my, stump, my tummy is growling so much. Um, uh, 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 in just a little bit, we're going to do a segment where I'm going to go through and lay out the full history, basically a drama mama on the fall of Twitter. And uh, but before I do that, I wanted to take a little bit of time with you all, with you, my lovely imps. That's right, you all. I wanted to take a little bit of time to just tell you guys where my mind is at, to tell you all what I'm thinking um, and where I'm, I'm planning on going with this. And also to ask for your assistance. That's right, I'm gonna be asking for you, uh, uh, you all for something. Now, I try to avoid uh, uh, being a shameless, clout goblin or anything like that. Um, you all know I don't like run crazy amounts of ads during my show. I don't dr like, like do like, yo, what's up? Make sure you hit that like button. Guys, I'm gonna need you to hit that like. Oh my God, we're only, we're, we're, we're two likes short. There's two people in the audience who haven't liked. I, I'm not, I can't do, I can't go forward until I get those last two likes. We're not doing anything until you, you know, I don't do that at all. Like, I basically just ask nicely for, for likes, and uh, otherwise, I don't like pay for advertisements or any of that nonsense. Okay, I do that once in a great while. But if you compare me to most other streamers, I don't do hourly shoutouts. I'm actually pretty bad at, this, the, at the reminding people to like thing. Um, a Causality, thank you very, very much. Um, so, you know, I try to keep it pretty tame. But today, I have to ask you for your help. And the reason why I have to ask you for your help is because, well, like I mentioned, the story we're gonna get into in a little bit, Twitter is on its last legs. But it's not actually just that. Um, on Twitter, I have been having like diminishing returns from Twitter for a really long time. And part of that is because I think that Twitter has been in a bad place for a while. Obviously, the fact that it could even get bought out by Elon Musk in the first place is not a very good sign. But uh, Twitter is just, it's been struggling. They don't know where, they didn't really seem to know where they were going in the first place. And um, more than that, uh, Twitter doesn't actually have very good reach. Now, Part of what made me think about this was the fact check of Elon Musk. A couple of, uh, like a week or two ago, Elon Musk was like, wow, isn't it great that Twitter is like 80% of web traffic? And then a hundred different citations underneath, including one of those community warnings popped up and was like, actually, that's not true. Facebook is like close to 80%. And Instagram, is like the next one, which is owned by Facebook. And then then it's like TikTok, and then it's like Twitter. So Twitter is actually one of the worst. And that made me think, you know, I've had a really good time on Twitter. I really have. But I think it's time to move to greener uh, pastures. And that's why I wanted to take the time right here, right now, to plug, and I'm gonna drop it in both the YouTube and the site chat, 
the Demon Mama Facebook page. Yeah, that's right. Facebook is actually one of the biggest places that you can still get growth, that you can actually reach people. And just spending a little bit of time on Facebook, God, I hate Facebook, but, but, there's a million lefties on Facebook. There are a lot of lefties on Facebook who have never heard of the imps, who have never heard of our content. And I mean a lot of them. So um, if you would be so kind, if you are a Facebook user, please go follow my page. Press like on that page because I'm going to try and I'm putting out roots on Facebook. I'm going to try and connect with lefty communities on Facebook and grow my Facebook. Um, so again, I'm going to show you the page real quick. Hold on. Let me just... I can view, do the view as, okay? Ready? Watch this. Here you go. So here's here's the Facebook page. And I, I've started posting videos. I've started posting memes. I've posted one of this. I was going to watch this later. This is a really good compilation of really funny. I missed this, actually. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, I'm going to start doing a lot of stuff on Facebook. And... Um, the reason why I'm plugging the Facebook first is because the rest of you are already watching me on YouTube. So the two places I'm going to be focusing on in the near future is YouTube and Facebook. And um, when I say that, I mean the posting that some of you have come to love and enjoy on Twitter, where I comment on news, where I just give thoughts and quips and whatever, that's going to be over on Facebook. And then updates... Uh, announcements, uh, polls, things like that are going to be on YouTube. And the reason for that is, one, YouTube is exploding as far as social media goes. The community tabs on YouTube are actually super, super active. And I'm just, I guess I just boomered out on that. I didn't realize how many goddamn Zoomers actually really like the community tabs and going and having conversations and commenting and stuff like that on YouTube. Now, I already have a presence as a video maker and a streamer on YouTube. A lot of people interact with my posts, and that's sick as hell. So the two things I'm asking for your help with today uh, is, one, like the Facebook post, and two, keep your eyes peeled for the community posts. I've been posting tons of stuff, and I, I mean a lot of people comment on that stuff. I didn't expect to get so many comments, but I want more. I want you guys to come in and comment and like those community posts. At least check them out. Uh, so just keep that in your mind, um, you know, in the in the in the future. Those are the things that I'm. That's where I'm going to be posting. Uh, now to get into the rationale. That's the that's the framework. Now I want to talk about the rationale. Um, I already mentioned that Twitter has been kind of a dying platform for engagement, but there's another, there's two more aspects I want to talk about. First off, uh, I'll start with the positive, okay? So Twitter, I've been on Twitter a really long time. And some of you know, some of you who are like, you know, it, deep into the mama lore know that I met like a lot of my current friends and most actually all of the people that I live with right now, my partners, we all initially met through Twitter. We connected through Twitter. And this is the part where I'm going to just be a little sappy for a minute because I had a lot of fun on Twitter. And unironically, all irony aside, Twitter was a unique place. Twitter, especially for trans people, Twitter has like one of the most active like tr general trans communities uh, uh uh every it seems like every trans person is active on twitter everyone that i meet um online and offline or at least were um and it's really sad to me um to see that go uh and it is going it's been going for a while. People have been dropping off partially because the environment on Twitter is really toxic, which we're going to get into in a second, but also partially just because there's greener pastures elsewhere. Um, as Twitter has been in so much upheaval over the last year, but over the last couple of years, um, that beauty, that connection, that ability to find all kinds of really cool and compatible trans people um, and other queer people 
uh, on Twitter is diminishing. It's becoming harder and harder to find one another. It, for a while, it was like nothing else. Like, I can't even believe that one website connected me to so many amazing people. And for me, I look at it and I go, wow, it sucks that that won't be able to happen for other people. It sucks that won't be able to happen for me in the future anymore because this site is in such ramshackle condition. But I'm thankful because Doe and Fawn and my partner Izzy and, and my roommate Silent, we're all here together in like physical space now. And that's cooler than Twitter, way cooler than Twitter even if Twitter was what allowed that connection to be found in the first place. Twitter had this unique ability to let you find people with shared interests all over the planet. I mean, from like anywhere. Um, and, and it sucks that it's gone. So uh, all of that is like the positive part or, or it's partially positive. The feelings that I have about the way that the space has changed, the way that it that the user base has changed, the way that the functionality has changed, um, it's not the same that it was, and that's unfortunate. But this too shall pass, you know, applies to the good and the bad as well. So there's the first reason. And here's the second reason, and this one's gonna be a little more heavy, okay? Which is the amount of harassment that I've received through Twitter is genuinely unfathomable. And um, it didn't used to be like that. Uh, it really didn't. Um, obviously, some of this is a result of just me growing. Uh, more people know my name. More people have beef with me. More people have opinions about me. Um, but also, because of the way that the site is changing, certain communities are like the only people sticking around now. And um, what that means is that every day I log on to Twitter, there is an unhinged psycho. That's, that's probably not the right word to use, but there is an unhinged person stalking me, tweeting about me, um, making things up about me. In the spaces that still exist on Twitter, which largely lean conservative, which is why they're still like super attached to Twitter because they're really happy quote unquote, with the direction that things are going, even though I don't think politically, directly politically, I don't think that much has changed. Uh, I think mostly it's been technical and a long shifting of, of, of communities. Regardless, what it means is that my time on Twitter isn't as much fun anymore. That was a really long way of saying that, and I'm really sorry if that was a little bit rambly. It's just that um, I don't have that much fun on Twitter anymore. I used to have a lot of fun. I used to love posting. I used to get like laugh uproariously from this website. I used to find memes. I used to share memes. Uh, it used to be a great time. And more and more, it's just weird people finding their ways into my mentions, no matter if I block them or not. Um, and it sucks. It just sucks. I don't like it. And none of these people are like people that can help me move forward. They're not people who are criticizing me with the goal of growing my channel or with the goal of me helping me become a better person. These are people who have a genuine, unfathomable ax to grind. I can't get into their heads because they're not about that. They're, they're about sort of projecting their toxicity onto me and I'm their chosen target. And it's really, it's really, <laughs> it's boring and it's sad. Um, it doesn't really make me feel bad, like like angry or anything, so much as it just makes me feel sad and bored. And um, I don't wanna deal with that anymore. Uh, or if I'm going to deal with it, because I know I'm gonna deal like, I'm gonna deal with some of it. Um, if I'm gonna deal with it, I wanna deal with it in a way, in a place where I'm gonna be making progress. Uh, YouTube, every interaction I get, positive or negative on YouTube, is a step in the right direction because I can, it goes back into my channel, it's somebody engaging with my content, even if they hate me, at least I'm getting something for it. That's not true on Twitter. On Facebook, allegedly, uh, if, if, if the analytics are to be trusted, Facebook uh, should be a similar way. The 
uh, Facebook doesn't uh, de-boost you as hard for linking to things, like Twitter is crazy. It used to be when I started on Twitter, I could link my stream and it wouldn't de-boost the post. In fact, that was how a lot of people found streams in the first place. Not anymore. Now they de-boost outlinks really hard. And Elon Musk has made it clear that he wants to just do that even harder. So they're trying to make it very incestuous and insular on Twitter, and that's not what I'm about. I want my show to grow. I want to reach new people. I want to find new friends, and I can't do that on Twitter. So there's the two big reasons why I'm basically heading out of Twitter. Now, I also have an Instagram and a Tumblr and a co-host. Feel free to follow me on any of those. It's really easy to find me, Demon Mama Real on Instagram, Demon Mama on co-host. Um, but as of right now, those aren't my focus. Did he just delete the poll? What the fuck is uh what the fuck is co-host? Oh, my Tumblr is Demon Mama. Wait, no, Demon Mama Real on Tumblr. My Tumblr is really uh underdeveloped, but I'm going to be putting more love into Tumblr. Um, but yeah. You should make an imp group in Facebook. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. You're really gonna talk me into getting a Facebook again? I haven't been active on Facebook in a long time. But even just, I mean, I posted only, I only posted this, I only cross-posted my Facebook to Twitter and to my YouTube channel in a community post. And I already have like, I already got like, like dozens of followers just from just mentioning it. So Facebook really does seem to be, um, Facebook really does seem to be on their game with regard to all that stuff. Um, use posty burb. Okay, that sounds awesome. I haven't checked that out. Yeah, if you uh, if you want to follow uh, if you want to follow me on on Tumblr and co-host, you can. For those of you who are asking, what the hell is co-host? Co-host is like Twitter. Uh, co-host is a Twitter is 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 like a mixture of Twitter and Tumblr. Literally, it's a. Uh, it has the format of tw of Twitter where you just type up things really quickly, but there's no character limit. Um, and it's a small team, uh, at least partially run by trans people, which is really cool. The The cool thing about co-host and um, is that it, it they have explicitly allowed for not safe for work and porn stuff uh, and porn in their in their TOS. So their founding TOS is like, no, we want this to be a site that adults can use for adult interests, which is awesome. Um, plus, uh, they really seem uh, very driven to make the site awesome. I will say, co-host right now is buggy and a little bit slow, but there has been an enormous surge of users, and I do think that there's potential on co-host, especially if you're doing adult work. So. Uh, a lot of adult performers are moving over to co-host. A lot of uh, uh, adult uh, artists and content creators are moving over to co-host. And uh, I appreciate that. So, um, yeah. So consider uh, consider co-host as an option. I'm not going to sit here and tell... Uh, like, I, I, got, I have so many different social medias that I'm not going to dump them all on you right now, even though I kind of already did. I'm not going to spend the whole time talking about all of them. Um... I'll probably mention co-host, especially if it has more success. I already have um, a, a presence on there, and I use it kind of like I do with Twitter, where I just tweet out my thoughts. Also, cool thing about co-host is you can do CSS in your tweets. I can't remember what they're called on there. I think they're just called posts. Um, but you can do custom CSS on your post, which is super awesome. So you can make really unique... Um, uh, really unique posts on on uh, co-host, which is really awesome. But again, it's slow. It's a little bit buggy. It's hard to say if it's going to be able to get off the ground in full. But so far, very promising. Yeah. Um, I can show you. Hold on. Anyway, the main focus of this, the main focus of this section is just to say, uh, I, I am, I am, you know, I am 
going to be on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to, if you want to see my posts like I used to post on Twitter, where I was always engaging in stuff, that's going to be on Facebook and that's going to be on YouTube. I can't spend any more time on Twitter. The toxic environment, the unpredictable future, the reduction in engagement, and the deboosting of the material that I make. Like, I don't post things that are meant to be watched on Twitter. I post long streams and videos. I have, I can't stay on Twitter. They don't want me there. It's just how it is. Yeah. But like, look at this. Take a look at this. Look at that. They let you do silliness on this site? Bruh, bruh, bruh. And then I added the custom CSS so that I have animated text. Super cool, look at that. Isn't that sick? Yeah. So, I don't know, I think that's pretty fun. And keep in mind, they're very, very open about the direction they're going. Uh, they have a thing that's gonna be called Cohost Plus. Once Cohost Plus actually launches, you're gonna be able to do custom design a la Tumblr. So you'll be able to have a custom page. Like pages are gonna be totally custom, but it functions like Twitter. So you tweet and da 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 da, but if people come to your page, they see your unique page, which is super awesome. That's an that's a cool feature. Oh, oh, Discord. Yes, of course. Obviously, I'm going to be on Discord, but I know from from the username list on my Discord that 90% of you are already in my Discord. But yes, Discord obviously. I already spend a lot of time on Discord. My Discord is bumping. My Discord has been flying lately. It's awesome. I mean, some of you can attest to how active my Discord is. There are so many cool conversations happening on my Discord, but you guys already knew about that. And Discord doesn't like 100% plug in to like other sites in the same way because it's a chat app. But yes, obviously Discord is definitely going to be um, is definitely going to be a big deal. I'm going to be spending a lot of a lot more time on Discord and specifically in the general chats of my Discord. So if you want to meme around with me in the like most raw format, Discord's where you're going to find me. Um, yeah, you guys have probably seen me in there more frequently. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, the Discord is awesome. Yeah, I've seen you there, Brina. It's fucking sick. Uh, the Discord is awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, those are the things. DMs is one of the most cohesive ones I've ever been in. We put a lot of love into our Discord. Um, I have a, not only do I have a whole bunch of passionate volunteer mods, but I have a paid admin and a paid lead mod, uh, who genuinely have made the Discord incredible. Shout outs to, uh, to Silent and shout outs to, uh, uh, uh Abaddon. The arena has been bloody. Yes, there's been a lot of debating in the arena lately. Um, yeah. So anyway, very active. Uh, this is getting a little rambly about the social media stuff, but that's okay. Um, the long and short of it is I really want to grow this show, and this show cannot grow on Twitter anymore. It simply can't. I have to make a jump to another platform. Um in addition to YouTube, because obviously we're growing on YouTube. Like, holy shit, are we growing on YouTube? Like, just before I left, we had celebrated the 17,000 mark. And right now, hold on, let me just bring this up real quick. We are almost at 18,000. We have gained almost 1,000 subs in just the last 28 days. We've gained 619 in the last 28 days. And I haven't been streaming for two weeks because I was on vacation. Like our channel is exploding on YouTube. So I'm obviously gonna spend more time on YouTube. Also, I forgot, but major announcement, we have officially hired a full, well, I mean, full time for YouTube, but a, a member of our team, we have hired Jazz Dog as our shorts editor. So you can expect to see a lot more Demon Mama shorts. And we have, this is so exciting, next stream, I believe, maybe the stream after that, I'm gonna have a new channel trailer to show you. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome. It is gonna be the coolest trailer you've ever seen. 
So there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff. We are going to nail it out of the park in the coming months. We've been doing a lot of work, a lot of preparation. We've been doing a ton of behind the scenes stuff. Um, and yeah, Jazz Dog has formally joined our team. So welcome to Jazz Dog. And also, oh my God, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, Jazz Dog is not here right now. Um, I think last, last I was literally talking to Jazz Dog about the, uh, the new trailer. Um, we're going to blast that trailer out everywhere. The shorts are doing really well. YouTube loves shorts and our shorts have been doing really good. We got like a thousand views, a thousand plus views in the first day of an Elon Musk short. It's, and that's not even our best short. We're doing really good. So again, uh, I really want to grow my show. I really want my show to, to, to step up to the next level as far as viewership goes. I want us to get some new imps in here. And the way we have to do that is we have to evolve. Remember how I always say, do not die? Well, one of the key ways that you do not die is by evolving when the time has come. And the time has come. So I hope you all will be willing to continue helping me grow my platform on these other websites. Um, Facebook especially, YouTube especially, and of course the Discord. Which means there will be a new imps code. Well, the imps code is not as relevant, but yeah. Lady Kelgana with the $5 says, I met Jessica Metal in your Discord and she's about two hours away on a bus right now to move in. We've been together for a year and a half. Lady Kelgana, that is fucking awesome. That is like the most, I gotta, I, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta take a picture of that for my own. I gotta, take a screenshot of that for my own inspiration. Just to remind myself that, damn, our our community does some amazing stuff. Our This community has facilitated so many people to connect to one another. And what I would like to do is in the far future, I would love for the Discord and the Demon Mama community as a whole to be able to fill the hole, or at least part of the hole, that was left by queer Twitter basically burning down. I would love my community to basically be a common ground, a warm place where lots of queer people can come together and make friends and connect with one another and connect each other. Yeah. Um, I'm not the matchmaker. You are all the matchmakers. I just opened the space. I keep the hearth going. I make sure the, the beer keeps coming. I make sure the snacks are coming. That's what I can do. 